My name is Constance and I'm 27 years old. I am the only child and I had both parents in my life. I met my husband actually uh, through uh, my sister, my oldest sister. Uh, I was uh, 19 years old and I hadn't dated anybody and my oldest sister was like a second mom to me. So they came to me one day and said, we have somebody we want you to meet and it was my husband. They gave my husband my phone number and said, we're gonna set you guys up, you guys go out on a date. And it was a blind date. <laughs> so uh, my husband called and we set up uh, a time to go out for dinner. And um, that's when I met him. It was on, actually on the 4th of July. And uh, we dated for about two years. And uh, then there was like a year break. We didn't see each other because they kind of went off doing our own thing. And then uh, for about a year, we were apart. But he had always thought about me. He said that, you know, that's going to be my wife. And I, you know, want to settle down with her. And so sure enough, after a year, he came back into my life and asked me to marry him. We were only married a few months before I got pregnant. And when we found out, it was so exciting. We wanted her so much. I think things shifted when uh, my husband uh, was stable in his job for a long time and he had a change. He lost his job uh, because of the industry that he worked in. I remember when I was a kid, um, I remember some happy times, you know, when I was a little, little girl. But I, I do remember as I was getting older, you know, um, my family started taking a turn for the worst. Uh, my dad, he became an alcoholic. Before he was a social drinker, you know, at parties or family gatherings, and then he started drinking more and more. And then he had more time on his hands to just kind of hang out, and that's where it started to change. Now, every day when I come home, you know, he's drunk or he had too much to drink, and, and then I realized this is the state of my family. See, kids, you know, in order for them to grow, have to feel protected and feel secure. And when you have an environment that is not stable, you know, and it's always changing or unpredictable because, uh, you know, the father's drinking or there's alcohol uh, mostly, but the father's coming in, you know. As a little girl, um, my friends would want to come over and they would say, let's go to your house to play and, and let's go swimming. And I would tell them, you know, I would make up lies and say, oh, well, I can't, well, we're going to be gone because I didn't know how my dad would be. I didn't know if he would be drinking. I didn't know if he would be sober. So I would, you know, I always, I was scared, you know, if people came to the house to really see, you know, how our family was. He's the type of person that alcohol affects him more than the average person. The reason why people throw up when they're drinking alcohol is because they're putting poison where it doesn't belong into their body. So they're throwing up because alcohol is a poison. It's not because you mix tequila with beer, it's because you're putting poison. Alcohol affects everybody different. Somebody may drink and they get very quiet. Somebody drinks and they get loud. Somebody drinks and they become very aggressive. No, got a headache. No, stressful Be quiet. Call the taxi. Be quiet, I'm sick of you. The thing with alcohol and drug abuse is you never know who's gonna be an abuser and who isn't. The alcohol enhanced the, maybe the anger that he had was holding inside, maybe depression, and his whole personality would change when he drank. You don't know how alcohol is going to affect, you know, or they become very argumentative, you know, or they become very violent. I actually seen a guy under the influence of alcohol break a bottle on a guy's face and continue to jam it into him until he had to hold his face together when we took him to the hospital. And I always remember that that was because they were drinking tequila and he was under the influence of alcohol. But people live that in their daily lives.
the environment's not stable, and so they, they are always li uh, living in uh, pins and needles, uh, not knowing what's going to happen. Without alcohol, he was such a loving dad. You know, he is a loving dad without alcohol, and um, he is so caring, and, and um, he really takes his role as a father and as a husband. But the moment, you know, I remember that alcohol would get into his system, and he became a different person. You have a person that is a mean, what they call a mean drunk for whatever reason, you live in fear. You live in fear at home every day. You never know when this person that has already threatened to kill you or has already physically abused you is gonna actually one day really take it to that extreme. And that's what happens under the influence of alcohol. So he didn't realize the effect that it was having on me in Constance. Um, there would be yelling, cussing, screaming, um, calling out names. I, you know, he, I would hear him disrespect my mom, you know, and that would bring a fear inside of me. Um, a fear, but also a fight and, and a hatred. A hatred started to build as well. A hatred for my dad. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. My family is no longer the happy family that we used to be.